My favorite Linux memory is um, when I first started using uh, Slackware Linux in 1996. I had to um, travel to um, the university that I had uh, internet access at and uh, download all of the different floppy series, um, A through uh, X, I think. It took several weeks because I would download them, I would take them home, I would do part of the install and then halfway through it would fail and I would have to find the faulty disk and go do it again and it took about two weeks to install but um, but that was a turning point there where you know I went from sort of using the proprietary Unix and Windows environments to to, to, to Linux and um, yeah and ever, ever since then it's uh, it's just gotten a lot easier than, uh, than than it was in those days. I want you to include my scheduling code that has yet to be released without freaking arguing about it. When I was 21, I got my first patch accepted into the Linux kernel. It was a bug fix for the TCP IP proxy code. I was so excited that I threw a big party for all of my friends, and probably 40 people showed up, and at some point we decided we wanted to go swimming at 10 p.m. at night. My swimming pool was closed at the apartment complex, so we just jumped the fence and uh, it started snowing while we were swimming and drinking beer and celebrating my first Linux kernel patch. That's how big of a nerd I am. The best moment of Linux so far is Android because it's gotten Linux into the hands of so many consumers. It's done amazing things for the proliferation of Linux. Linux is really everywhere. We've got tablet devices, we've got car computers, we've got mobile phones, we've got things that keep people communicated and connected with others and it's all powered by Linux and that's just a really an amazing thing. And I think my favorite Linux memory is last year when I got a Linux laptop. It was really light because it had an SSD in it and it came with Linux on it instead of some proprietary OS and it came with a little Ubuntu sticker stuck on to the key where the Windows thing might be. I I did Slackware in 1993, that was my first distro, and you had to go and install lots of different diskettes. And this was the day when it was interesting and fun to go and reinstall over and over and over. And so I went and I decorated all my little diskettes and did fancy uh, patterns and designs on them. So I have a set of illustrated Slackware disks, and they're very cute. In the early 90s, I really thought Unix was going to go away, and I was going to have to switch to Windows. And I'm so pleased that Linux is doing so well, and that's not going to happen. Recently, I had a supermarket checker putting groceries in the bag ask me which distribution I used when he saw I was wearing a Linux t-shirt. And uh, I'm so excited that Linux has penetrated to the point where people everywhere know what it is and appreciate it. Maybe I should, you know, see if I can crash it by like moving around in the frame. So my favorite memory is actually not the first, but rather a recent one, where I programmed something and got a crash and fork. Fork, on the one hand, doesn't actually take arguments. So I thought, how, what can, how exactly can it be difficult to do something wrong with fork? But as it turned out, it was pretty simple because Fork was called from a pthread environment and offers if you had opened a file descriptor in the original originator thread and would have closed it in the pthread, Fork will break. Obvious, come to think of it. And it took me a bit to figure that one out. When my son uh, had uh, his bar mitzvah, we went to the West Wall, which is a, a religious monument. If you go to the West Wall and you put a little note in in the wall. Then uh, God looks into the note, and it might come true. So I took this note and I wrote, "I would like a Linux job." Maybe less than a year, a, 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 friend, a colleague called and he said, "Come work on Linux." And at the beginning, the feeling I had was that I spent 15 years wasting my time with a joke uh, where this is the real thing. And the most amazing thing for me was that if you had a problem, you could actually investigate it and spend two days, read everything about it and be an expert about it. Every day at 11 o'clock, I smile to myself and I say, wow, I have a Linux job.